Well, hello, Degrassi listeners, and welcome to the podcast for Walking in My Shoes. On this episode, uh, three plots, Zoe, Frankie, and Imogen. Uh, Zoe becomes the new lunch lady um, in this episode, and uh, made me really miss uh, Sheila. I was hoping maybe they would bring her back for a quick cameo, but sadly they uh, they did not. Um, about uh, Zoe's plot, I, I have to say, uh, I did really like the whole burner uh, cell phones and the tuna sandwiches. I mean, I'm not sure how realistic uh, that was, but it, it was nice, it was fun. Um, you know, and of course, this is because of her consequences from the oop chat, uh, the, the Degrassi nudes, of course. Um, but anyways, Miss Pill catches her, um, but gives her another chance, which is which is great. Uh, she believes in her, and in the and in the, uh, in this, uh, there's there's uh, some scenes with Miles and Zoe as well, which are pretty great. Uh, he's of course still uh, doing his lunch duty due to uh, some of the things that he did in the past with uh, with the fire. Um, so yeah, and there's also uh, some pop culture references for Imagine Dragons, um, which is always interesting to hear on, on Degrassi to see, uh, when they put in those little, you know, little nuggets of, uh, pop culture, uh, Maya trying to get tickets to Imagine Dragons, and that's why Maya personally is getting, uh, a burner cell phone. Uh, Frankie, the whole cheating on a test thing, and with Lola, to me, I, I wasn't really feeling this plot at all. Um, I think they could have maybe found a better way for Lola to reveal, you know, that she kissed uh, Winston. And I think the actress who plays Lola personally um, is poor. I don't know if it's the character that uh, the actress is playing, but some of the delivery of just the lines and stuff to me, it just it, it's not... Uh, really working for me, so I, I'm not really a fan of, of Lola. But anyways, uh, Frankie comes clean uh, to Armstrong, and it's always great to see Armstrong. Of course, he's been on the show since the beginning of time, since the beginning of uh, The Next Generation, 15 seasons, or I'm sorry, 14 seasons. Um, so it's always nice to see him. Uh, but uh, then Frankie comes clean to Lola as well, and you know talks about how being honest is important. Um, but then Lola hears this and lets it slip about the Winston kiss, and then it's all downhill from there. And finally, we have Imogen and Jack. Uh, Imogen, of course, is upset that Jack hasn't told her parents about uh, Imogen. And, uh, you know, it's very upsetting to Imogen. They're in the running to be a couple of the year and all that. And, of course, Imogen wants to take Jack as a date to prom, but she can't do that. Can't be, you know, the best couple in the yearbook and all that and, you know, all this kind of stuff. So, sadly, they do uh, break up. Also, we do get an Adam mention as well, um, which, of course, was very sad. But, uh, you know, I, I like the whole thing with Imogen and Jack, and I'm very sad that, that they, uh, they broke up. Um, but it was a great episode. I, I, I did overall enjoy it. Uh, just the only part for me that I didn't really care for was uh, the stuff uh, with Lola and Frankie, I guess, as well. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.